Well, with images like these, um, we don't quite have the backdrop today. I would imagine that we should be looking at Count Dracula's castle with thunder and lightning and crows and and here we are bathed in beautiful sunshine. So what can you tell me about these? How did you come by them? I can't tell you. And what drew you to them? I can't tell you. Uh -huh. And um, they look really old. They so, are. They, yeah. they, they are indeed really old. They're what is known as penny dreadfuls. Mm -hmm. um, and they were, uh, as we can see, a broad sh These are quite sensational headlines here. We can see the sentence, execution, trial. Um, these were sold for a penny, penny, penny. Um, as the name suggests. It's a nice family outing. It's a nice family outing. Charles Dickens himself actually, against his better judgment, decided that he was going to go um, and watch one of these executions take place. And he reported to the Times that it made his tremendous <laughs> run cold. Um, Whenever I see things associated with the potteries in Staffordshire, I think how sad it is that we, that total industry has gone to decay. How did you get this collection? Well, my father used to, uh, well, for all of his life, worked in the ceramic industry, in the tile industry, um, selling to customers. And uh, he died in 1969. Yes, so... absolutely. So we've got some lovely examples here. We've got the very... But I think these tiles, these tiles would look marvellous. It's interesting to look at Johnson tiles, yes. of course, it's one of the great producers of tiles. Yes. And these are so 60s. They are indeed. Marvellous colours, great shapes. Yes. You can just imagine the, the tiled tables that these often were used on yes. from that period. Yes. But firstly, these prints here, of course, are from much, much earlier. Yes. They're from when Minton set up an art studio in, in London yes. in 1870. Yes. And directed by W.S. Coleman. Jet or not jet? Well, I don't think, I don't no. think it is jet, actually, because no. it's got these conchoidal fractures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce that, but if you say so, it looks like a <laughs> to me. Yes. Very expensive new, not so much today. 25 pounds. That really oh. is it. Glass is what? cheap. Glass is what? cheap. This, I'm sorry. Not worth a penny. No, well, let's. It's thank not. you, thank you, Jenna. <laughs> you hate me now, don't you? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Well, I must say, these make a eye full, don't they? Thank you. I've always thought so. So, what's the story? Um, they came from my grandmother. I do remember my mother didn't like them very much. I'm sure that if we took a vote here, 50% <laughs> of the people say they like them, and 50% of them would <laughs> them out of the window yeah, and yeah. passing yeah. skip. Yeah. Subjective. And this is the thing that separates glass from everything else, really, is if you put it in it looks like and you put it in the sun, and it's suddenly So you're hiding your light under a bushel, my gal. It was designed by Livio Zanetti. Now that is some colour. A uh, small one's going to be 100 quid. The larger one is about 150. Oh, and the whore, 200, 250, 200, 250, 200. Oh. So here, there's, uh, well, there's 500 pounds on this table. Well, the sun is going down now, but is it going down on the wearing of this sort of jewellery? Tell me what it really means to you. Well, the much-loved grandmother, very generous. And, and there is a misconception in the funny way that it, it implied nobility, and it's quite yes, wrong, isn't it? Yes. It was the occasion that yes, demanded the wearing absolutely. of them. Was it your mother's one? It was my grandmother's, yes. and there's quite a romantic story about that. Yes. She was a... That's wonderful. Si but this one is rather interesting. This is an amethyst heart surrounded by diamonds. But um, how did this one come into the family? It was given to my daughter. Do you think that's pretty marvellous? <laughs> and here, tell me about this one. Well, I was just... Well, I... And then the tiara that turns into a necklace, 35 pounds. <laughs> And I think that, in, um, if I can add anything up at all, is uh, £42,500 for a collection of jewellery. 
what an extraordinary item and what an extraordinary value. And it rather typifies the grand days of Tredegar House when it would have been full of people with extravagant parties inside and out. And I think today with the Antiques Roadshow, we've we captured a bit of a sense of those days. Some people have come along today and brought Tredegar back to life. From the Roadshow team, until next time, bye-bye.